putting rocket fuel, mercury, and melamine in your baby's milk, fluoride in their milk and in their water. The IQs are dropping, the sperm counts dropping, the cancer rates exploding. The globalists are putting every dime they got into killing us deader than a hammer. Ha ha ha! And the brain damaged slaves love it. They're on a highway to hell. Intoxicated. Yeah, that gets you high. That aspartame eating holes in your brain as well. That excitotoxin. No speed limit, baby. No. They're building those prisons all over the place. That's our big business now. Hope you all enjoy it, ladies and gentlemen. You've got front row seats to a high tech pentagon designed global extermination grid they advertise it they advertise the meat grinders and you all go running jumping right into them and those of you that are halfway awake or too timid and scared your neighbors might think you're weird if you spoke up so you're going to go ahead and feed yourself and your children right in as well besides they make it so easy notice how it's everything that's produced by only two or three companies you take uh, corn syrup government's own studies admit massive levels in over half of it, and in the big brands, it's in all of them, thousands and thousands of foods, high levels of mercury, despite the fact that there's no mercury in the production of corn syrup. In fact, people won't believe me. Guys, Google uh, 50% of uh, what was the exact headline? No, no, no. It was 90, it was 90 percent of the uh, infant formula has melamine. That just kills their kidneys and liver and, and, uh, and clogs up all their, uh, and calcifies all their major organs. That's another soft kill weapon. Now, it's 90% in the milk. And, of course, uh, not just from China. It's, uh, we're actually worse on average, but they kind of cover that up. No, no, I want to give people the article uh, because they won't believe it. Uh, the, the headline was, half of corn syrup products have mercury. Anyway, side issue, uh, but go ahead and get your flu shot. Mayo Clinic's six-year study shows you at uh, 2.9 times or almost three times more likely to put you in the hospital with uh, killer flu. So, so absolutely. And then believe the other hoax, it's the law to take it. Okay, I'm going to shop about that, get into some of the other news I've got here. There is some good news, ladies and gentlemen. Bill to audit Fed gains serious momentum. Kurt Nemo, InfoWars.com, 100, this is as of Friday, 179 sponsors. They get just a few more. We're going to be able to audit that private Federal Reserve. But I tell you, I read the comments on InfoWars.com, all 300 of them I scanned over on this story, and half the comments are like, oh, it won't do any good. There's no point. Yeah. Come on, folks, let's get winner's attitudes here. I didn't even think it could get this many uh, sponsors this year. Last session, he got, what, 30 or 40? This session, he's getting 179 and growing, and it's making national news now. And then they say, well, the Fed will never allow it. Folks, you have to believe you can beat an enemy. The private Federal Reserve took this country over in 1913. They arrogantly go on CNN and Lair News Hour, and the Fed chairman say they're above the law, and when I say chairman, plural, uh, I've got video of, it's, it's actually in uh, Obama deception, of former Fed chairman Greenspan saying, oh, we're above the law, no agency, no government, no one can look at us. Well, nothing else is above the law. The president's not above the law. This is asinine. And so if we just get the word out about the private Fed that's stolen $14.8 trillion in the last seven months out of the Treasury, that owns both parties, and is bringing us into a new world order, I mean, and people can't deny it now, hundreds and hundreds of mainstream articles saying, oh, yes, private families own our private Fed. They'll fix the banking crisis with the new bank of the world that runs our lives and that we pay our carbon taxes to because the private bankers say they're so concerned about the greenhouse gases and that they want to re reduce world population. You always see those headlines. World Health Organization concerned about overpopulation. Wants to make sure you take your flu shot. So less of you die, but then it actually kills you. They're saying they want you dead. You know, it's like Bill Gates, part of the secret meeting that's in the mainstream news now. And his dad runs Planned Parenthood, and all he gives is speeches about we've got to reduce the world's population. And then you read an article about, oh, he wants to help the black children. Ladies and gentlemen, no one had ever reported this. No one had ever called him out. 
and I've since had people on the show incommunicado, high level Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, shaking when they're on the air. You talk about risking my life. These people don't play games. It's a eugenics organization. So is IBM's trust. IBM, Thomas Watson, Hitler's top confidant in the U.S., when he died in the mid-50s, gave all his money, all the profits that their family gets into population reduction. Same. Th this article's got Oprah Winfrey at the meeting, Bill Gates. Uh, it's got Warren Buffett, gave all his money, all of it. When I say all, it's like 95% to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for population reduction. They're not playing games. I wonder if they tell the local tycoon here in Austin that owns the big computer company, because he's, he's just worth a few billion bucks. He's low level. Hey, don't drink the water, pal. I wonder if he gets let in on, hey, don't drink the water, pal. And, and this is all they talk about. You can read UN documents, government documents, how they put it in the water to sterilize us. It's all admitted. Remember, this is the same crew that gave black men syphilis over 45 years and let them die of it with Tuskegee. Let them spread it. Same people that grabbed 4,300 little kids and radiated them to death, foster kids with radiation. Same ones that had U.S. troops march in and get radiated. Same ones that had them march into chambers and get radiated and get nerve gassed and all those different tests. And, oh, but, oh, the government's good now. Oh, the shadow government, they're nice people. And I get up here boldly almost in a jolly way and warn you, even though I'm really freaked out and having nightmares every night about this. And I try to get up here and gut up and warn everybody. I'm going to start getting to this article, and we're going to come back and take your calls. I'm going to go through the control grid, how they're going to set the control grid up to make sure they're able to carry all this out and what will happen under the grid. Because all the soft kill operations, you don't know what soft kill is. Here's the words again this week. Eugenics, soft kill, neo-feudalism, serfdom. Social Darwinism. It'll change your life because everything in your life, every piece of propaganda you live under, every everything the globalists are doing, it's all about social Darwinism. It's all about Malthus, Sir Francis Malthus. It's all about Galton. It's all about eugenics. Better find out about it. It's dominated at least 200 years of human Western history. Hitler was just a minor apple that fell from this dark tree. Stalin, Lenin, Mao, all praised by these eugenics organizations, praised by Rockefeller in the New York Times. Times of London today, Bilderberg Club is not what we're getting into right now. No, that's now admitted mainstream news. Major movies about to be made about it. I'll tell you about that later. When I was told about it two years ago, I was asked not to tell anybody, but now they're admitting it, so I'll talk about it later. Billionaire club to curb overpopulation. We are going to come back and get into this. Billionaire club in bid to curb overpopulation. America's richest people met to discuss ways of tackling a disastrous environmental, social, and industrial threat. Ah, uh, yes. Just like Eric Bianca, UT, the professor, saying we've got to kill 90% of the population. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us.